in the news this week. Christian MPs criticise an attempt to decriminalise abortion in the Criminal Justice Bill. The latest attempt to ban so-called conversion therapy fails in the House of Commons. And Alabama's Supreme Court recognises that embryos are legally children. Hello. Christian MPs have slammed an attempt to hijack the government's criminal justice bill to decriminalise abortion up to birth. Dame Diana Johnson's amendment, which would remove women from the criminal law on abortion, is expected to be voted on during report stage. Conservative MP Miriam Cate warned that removing sanctions for women who abort their child after the 24-week limit will inevitably result in a rise in dangerous late-term DIY and coercive abortions. Decriminalising abortion to term would not just put women in danger, it would mark a serious failure in our duty to protect the rights of the unborn child. Her colleague Nick Fletcher agreed, decriminalisation of abortion will no doubt end with abortions happening much later, even up until full term. This cannot be right in a civilised society. The latest attempt to ban so-called conversion therapy has failed in the House of Commons. Lloyd Russell Moyle's private members' bill ran out of time after being strongly opposed by MPs across the political spectrum. Ahead of the debate, a top human rights lawyer warned that churches could be criminalised for only baptising those who follow biblical sexual ethics under the latest attempt to bring a conversion practices law. In a legal opinion for the Christian Institute, Jason Koppel KC said the bill would cause a serious intrusion into the ordinary work of churches, the MP wanted to impose unlimited fines on those deemed to offer practices that intend to change someone's sexual orientation or to change a person to or from being transgender. In one example, Koppel said a pastor could be criminalised if a sermon on biblical sexual ethics was interpreted as attempting to prevent individuals from engaging in homosexual acts. The Institute's Simon Calvert said, This is not about protecting people from abuse. That is already illegal. It is about punishing people for talking. Last month, dozens of peers criticised a similar bill from Baroness Burt. The House of Commons Health and Social Care Select Committee has starkly outlined the many dangers of legalising assisted suicide, but fell short of opposing a change in the law. The committee has been examining evidence from jurisdictions that have legalised the practice, as well as looking at palliative care in the UK. It released its findings yesterday. Care Not Killing, the UK's leading anti-assisted suicide group, welcomed the detail of the report, which outlined many dangers of legalisation, but called MPs' refusal to firmly oppose a change in the law disappointing. It very accurately details many of the dangers associated with legalising assisted suicide and euthanasia, so we think it's an excellent report. One area that we would urge MPs to look more closely at, though, is the issue of palliative care because we know in places like Canada, uh, palliative care has got worse since they changed the law. And promises made in New South Wales and Australia uh, on improvements and extra funding have not materialised. And finally, the Alabama Supreme Court has ruled that frozen embryos are children and that anyone who destroys one could be held legally accountable. The ruling is in relation to a case brought by three couples whose embryos were accidentally destroyed at a fertility clinic. A lower court had previously ruled the law only applied to fetuses in the womb, not embryos outside of it. But the Supreme Court ruled the wrongful death of a minor act applies to all unborn children, regardless of their location. Chief Justice Tom Parker said the Alabama Constitution recognises the sanctity of life, which means God made every person in his image. Each person, therefore, has a value that far exceeds the ability of human beings to calculate, and human life cannot be wrongfully destroyed without incurring the wrath of a holy God, who views the destruction of his image as an affront to himself. The judge said, therefore, even before birth, all human beings bear the image of God, and their lives cannot be destroyed without effacing his glory. Well, that's all for this week. For regular updates and information on all of our stories, plus much more, visit our website at christian.org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.